Hey guys, this is Daniel Dr. D and I'm back with an update on some things going on. I ended up getting a new rack. Thought I'd share it with some of you who might be interested. Uh, it's a, uh, it's like a shelf, you know, from Home Goods. They were $250, but I put these little pads on it on the front. Kind of hard to see here in the front and the back so the records can't slide, you know, so when you add them on there. But uh, it came out really good and I'm really happy with it. There's a drawer on the bottom and uh, I've been wanting to get these records off my floor because my floor is just packed with too many records. And before you know it, you just have no more space, you know, so I'm out of it. A uh, couple other things I want to tell you guys about. A um, friend of mine, Mirko, who got me into the Pioneer uh, SX950, says, hey, how come you haven't been playing the 950? Why have you been playing the ST70? And you'll notice and in my videos, I pretty much always play the ST70. And I want to tell you what the reasons are and what's going on with that. Okay, between these two amps, because one is a solid state and one is a tube amp. And um, the reason that uh, I like the SD70, why I listen to it, is because of the mid-range. It has a really nice, smooth, silky, holographic mid-range that's just so pleasant and enjoyable to listen to. It is a tube amplifier. It is a just a beautiful sounding amplifier. And I play that with the Heresies on here. Uh, with the rel T0 on the bottom. Okay, that's what some of you have heard in some of the videos that I played. I think it was called uh, Blues, Jazz, and Whiskey. If you look at that demo, that is the ST70 with the rel T0 under here. Now, here's an interesting thing about this uh, Pioneer, though, so you know. It's a nice amp, mind you. It just has a different sound to it. If I put the loudness switch on like this, you don't need a sub. The loudness switch is so magical. I don't think any mod. I don't know what happened to loudness switches. They're really handy, man. Um, it is so incredible how much bass you get from the Pioneer if you just put the loudness switch on. At any volume, it doesn't matter. It just it's like a it's like a bass booster, you know. So if you want to play at lower volumes, you'll hear that bass come from under there. Now the reason I like the Rel. I can't use a rel with the Pioneer, you know, using the loudness switch. It's just too much bass. It's overwhelming. It's not necessary. It's overkill. But with this, it's just perfect, you know. And with the beauty, you know, and this is something people don't talk about much. You guys may see some previous videos where I compared the Heresy 4 to the Heresy 2. These are the Heresy 2. And uh, one of the things about the Heresy 4 and one of the reasons I ended up not getting the fours is because I felt that I needed to, to increase the volume in order to hear the bass more audible compared to the two. And I can just get that just by using the REL T0. And the beauty of that is I can listen to the music at 60, 70, you know, decibels, you know, pleasantly at night. And I can just adjust the volume on the T0 here. By the way, that's just a little uh, fabric skirt that covers it, keeps the, the dust off. Uh, but the thing is, is that uh, the T0, you can adjust that bass so that when you're playing at low volumes, you hear it and it's audible. Because a heresy on its own, it doesn't put out that much bass, you know, when it's at low volume, you know. Even at high volume, it still doesn't, you know, by comparison. But once again, if I put the loudness switch on the Pioneer, it does. But you know, I just like that tube sound, you know, I'm just always going to be a tube guy. It's just the way it is. I like classic tubes. I like that vintage sound. That's what I get from this, you know, this circuit. And, uh, you know, that's why I like it. Uh, by the way, if you're ever, if you're in a bourbon and you're choosing between these two, the Jack Daniels is much richer and nicer bourbon. At least the honey flavor is. Um, you know, uh, Jim Beam has been around much longer than Jack Daniels has, and they actually sell a little bit more. But look at this. It's almost kind of watered down. That's just the way it is. Whereas the Jack Daniels, just sweeter, richer. Oh, man, it's just no comparison between those two. So I'm going to be done with Jim, Jim Beam. Jack Daniels is a little bit more money, but it's worth the cost, you know. Anyway, it's just nice to sit down, play a little jazz, have a bourbon once in a while. 
And I thought I'd share that with you guys. So anyway, to answer the, the questions about why I'm listening to the SC70 and not the Pioneer so much, I hope this gives you some sort of idea uh, to the you know, for the reasons for that. So, all right, till next time, I will be back at you soon.